There's Rocksteady King of the Pit TV. I'm sipping. I'm sipping. I've been sipping for a second. I had Cannibal Corpse on before this. I got through half a bottle of Voddy. And now we're, we're, we're finalising the deal. We're sealing the deal right about now. Underdog is the title of this one. Track number two. We're listening to Rise of the Underdog by No Retreat. Come on. Beat down hardcore. Straight to the point. Yo, one of my favourite things about bands like this is like during the verse sections, it's it's just the timing of the snare. I like that New York hardcore esque, just sort of hip hop influenced, you know, rhythmic snare beat, man. I I like it. I like it a lot. Just just gets your toes tapping, doesn't it? Gets your feet moving, and that's what you want in the pit, man. Bro, my guy said, feel my footstep on your face. Just a, just a slight tap, just a footstep, come on. Rise. Give him a footstep. Rise. Rise of the underdog. Rise of the underdog, tell where I'm coming from. Bro, this is some hate breed breakdown. Metal. Come on. Yo, I just put my mate onto it, who likes stuff like this. I said, hard beat down record, no retreat. Rise of the underdog. Yeah, that that goes to show two songs in. I know the stand up. We got some, we got some spin kicking moments. I never heard anybody reference this band. I never heard of anybody stating that they were influenced by this band. But, bro, yo, Mama Squish said this is my dad's band. He's Frank Piontek. Says Squish ninety eleven. Bro, she commented all on herself. She got another, another, another bloody username. Whoops. This is me a year later, and I was so cringy, my God. And then a year later, responds with another profile. This is me another year later. Update. Not a pastel you woo girl, and not my emo self anymore. Now I'm just sad. And then somebody comments, Lymphaeo, tell your dad brothers for life. Bro, that's what BFL stands for. I was talking about that a second ago. Seriously though, his band and other hardcore punk metal bands very moving for me and my friends right now. Yo, let's put some respect. Respect on all three of them accounts. Yeah, nice. I gotta put some respect on that. Bruh, the thing about being emo and all this and that is that it hits you in your teenage years and then it revises itself when you just become carefree. You know what I mean? And you feel... You feel life again. You think, you know what? Those times were real. Those times were real. Yo, I, I gotta rate the emos, man. Right, let's move on. Track three. <laughs> 